Hello everyone, this is Nork the Childe here, and welcome back to another video. Um, and this is a very odd game that I found on Steam. I was looking through the free-to-play games, and this one particularly stood out to me, because um, it just looked very odd, and judging by this title page, I think you can kind of get that just as well. But this game is called Welcome to Heaven, it doesn't even say it on the screen. Um, and I heard it's like really short, like 10 to 30 minutes, so this is probably just going to be like one video. And don't expect much from this game, the graphics look a lot like Gmod, stuff like that. And it just looks really like trippy and weird and funny, so um, I thought I would try it out. Um, but let's like look at the credits first. Uh, a Vextro production, so we have all these um, very odd graphics here and text. Um, thanks for playing, really. Yeah, they definitely need thanks to attract people to this game. Anyway, let's go to new game and let us start Welcome to Heaven. Use WASD slash mouse to move. Okay, the sensitivity is like really weird. Are there like settings or anything? Save and quit, never mind. Um, welcome to Heaven. Yeah, everything is very rudimentary here. Um, obviously, yes, those are obviously the controls. You can also use E to talk to people. Okay, well, there are no people around yet. So is this like the stairway to heaven right here? Pretty trippy. I hope I'm making sense. Welcome to heaven. Or anyways, welcome to heaven. Okay, that's weird. So we're arriving at heaven, guys. Look at these awesome steps. We're like in the middle of space. Where do I go? Do I just like walk forward? I guess not. What the f what the heck? What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What? Oh. We've been awaiting your arrival. What? Okay, oh, I guess I, like, fell off and I, like, died and I went to heaven. And we have this really oddly pixelated person and someone in the back with, like, a shield and wings? Okay. We've been awaiting your arrival. What? You're the pure boy of wonders. Your arrival has been predicted. Okay, I don't know. Also, the music is, like, really odd. <laughs> so, yeah, you, this is kind of like a... You can pick, like, what you say and stuff. Um, you're the boy of wonders. Your arrival has been predicted. But I'm not even a boy. <laughs> or predicted. I kind of want to say, but I'm not even a boy. God told us. He said a new pure boy of wonders would be imminent. Wait, God? You talk to God? <laughs> yes, simply put, it is your duty to decide who is let into heaven. How could I possibly be qualified for that? <laughs> there is no qualification. You are the pure boy of wonders. You'll know how to deal with sinners. <laughs> what does that mean, boy of wonders? I'm a boy of wonders? Okay, leave. Alright, uh, we're in heaven, it looks like. Yes, uh, how do I judge the sinners? There are various holes to purgatory around heaven. Find them and judge the sinners inside. So we have to find holes in this, like, purgatory area. And judge sinners. Okay, who's this person? Hello, pure boy. Mm, can I call you that? Mm. Mm, pure boy is fine. The title is Pure Boy of Wonders. Right, my bad. In life, I was a great warrior. I killed hundreds of foreigners in the name of God. I was an excellent pawn for our Lord. What did you fight for? I told you, I fought for God. They did not believe in our God. They threatened our way of life. They had to be stopped for the good of our people. That is murder. There must be some way to coexist. <laughs> they would never allow us to coexist. They are too sinful to tolerate our holiness. And yet you're the war here. Oh, that's... <laughs> it's like... Oh my God. Okay, this, this game is... Oh, an afterlife. I've been granted a fitting position. I am a guardian angel. I would offer my services to you only. I don't believe you are in any danger here. That's right. I don't need any protection from you. Okay, this guy's very weird. He's a war hero and he spins when I walk around. Okay. Is it just me or does this like guitar riff sound like head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Like, I honestly feel like that's what it sounds like. What the heck is this game, dude? Alright, so we got a bunch of weird people around here. Let's go to this person all the way over here. Okay, I don't know if the park comforts me because it's so familiar, or it's illusion of foreignness. Okay, cool. Okay, this person looks exactly the same as the other person. Do you think there is an after-afterlife? Dude, that's deep. That is deep. What is this? Is this a hole? Oh, yeah, I think that is. Oh, no. How can I get back out? I didn't mean to go in here. Well, we're running towards you. Purgatory, right? Yep. So how does this whole thing work? Well, I have some questions, and I'll decide where you go based on your answers. Alright. What is your sin? I harassed people into submission online. I instigated and waged war on the minutiae of people's lives. 
I fought fire with fire. I called for people to lose their jobs. I tried to cut people down for their beliefs. <laughs> Why? The community was enticing, a place where I could belong. I just had to say that the right things at the right people. A community of jerks? We weren't even friends anyways. A band of bitter and misplaced people of convenience. We meant nothing to each other. What made you stop? I realized I was being hypocritical. I called for perfection that nobody, including myself, could achieve. I thought I carried a beacon of morality and enlightenment, granting me the right to be shitty. Since I was speaking for an, um, an, for an important cause, it wasn't really being a jerk. Truthfully, it was a retreat, a way to view the world in black and white. So you harassed people to simplify your life. I suppose I wasn't in a place where I could deal with it alone. It's time for your judgment, oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. Is this woman worthy? Redeem or condemn? Okay, this is actually really sick. So, she like harassed people online. She was a hypocrite. She wanted perfection. Okay. And like, I don't know. That sounds like pretty annoying, dude. And she's like owning up to it. But it was pretty deep. I'm gonna condemn. Just I wanna see, I wanna see what happens. Oh, we like sent her up to... What the? It's like a UFO looking thing. What the heck? Oh, wait, is this, like, our way out? Oh my god, I'm, like, sprinting so fast. What the heck is this? Okay, that, that's odd. Alright, we're back. We cleared that whole thing. Okay, that's cool. We have a little boy here who looks really odd. Okay, let's... I miss my parents! <laughs> oh my god! That's so messed up! This little kid, like, died and he's in heaven! If this is what heaven looks like, honestly, and I'm not really religious, but, like, dude, what the heck? This place, dude, I don't even know what this game is. Alright, we have, like, a maze here. I want to find more people to, like, judge. It's actually, like, really a cool concept. Like, you hear people's stories and, like, why they're in purgatory or whatever, and it's, like, really odd. We have another boy. The inconceivable complexities of human adult life confounded me, and I only wish that I could have experienced just a taste before I died. Okay. That's reasonable. We got this person hiding over here. Wow, we were so afraid of death. How great is it that heaven is real and we can live eternally in perfect happiness? I would not call this place perfect happiness. It's just very odd. Like, dude, I don't even know. This game is just really weird, dude. What the heck? What the heck? What? My name is Marty and I'm here to party. <laughs> no equation can solve for this occasion. <laughs> I couldn't miss this fiesta even though I'm severely depressed. Uh. Alright, that was a stretch, dude. Come on. My only aspiration is to attend every celebration. Okay, these guys are the rhyme pun squad. I'll leave you alone to do whatever you guys want. And we have, like, a ninja Assassin's Creed guy up there. What the heck? Okay, let's go into this hole, honestly. I'm just really confused. Let's check you out. What is going on? It's like an insane zoom, but, like, you're walking up. Okay. What happens now? Is this my judgment? Yes. Oh. What is your sin? I was a bully, I mocked people for their looks, I acted selfishly, and chided others for doing the same. I used petty violence to maintain dominance. I traded friendship for social capital. Why were you hurtful? I had self-esteem issues, I was terrified of being mocked. It was easier to hurt than be hurt. I thought it was funny for everybody. Really, it was a shield to put myself behind. Did you grow out of it? I eventually realized how much I was hurting people. I was mortified when I saw how callous I had been, dishing out the ostracization I feared the most. Have you ever apologized? I've never really taken to those people since. I wish I could apologize, but it feels pointless, vain. Aren't you just afraid of looking those people in the eye? Maybe. I'd like to think they'd have forgot forgiven and forgotten. Inconsequentialities. That's a very big word. Inconsequentialities of the past. It's time for your judgment. Okay. So this man, I don't know, he's kind of in the middle for me because he was like, oh, I bullied people, I was really mean to them, and it was easier to hurt than be hurt. But in the end, he kind of, like, realized his wrongdoing, and even though he didn't really, like, he didn't really apologize, I kind of want to redeem and, like, make him go back and, um, have, give him the chance to apologize to those people. So we're going to redeem that guy. Um, he kind of came around, not full circle, but we want to make it full circle for him. Let's get out of this weird place from the UFO bar thing. Okay, that was interesting. Let's see, we have another hole over here. Don't want to go in that just yet. Let's keep looking around a bit. Okay. Oh, it's, like, the same design of the guy. I hope my family comes up to join me soon. Whoa, okay. I mean, that's... Is that, like, is that bad or is that good? Like, you're hoping for their death, but you just want to be with them. So that, I don't know. I guess that could be taken a few ways. We have a similar looking guy over here. It was easy for me to hurt others to feel secure, but now that I can cope with myself, it's harder to be cruel than peaceful. 
Is, th is this the same guy? All right, that's good. It's harder to be cruel than peaceful. I think this is the same guy. So we uh we helped him there. That's nice. Smart enough to worship, too dumb to become something greater. This existence is a mockery. <laughs> It's so funny, too, because you see all these, like, different perspectives, and all these people, like, have different views of heaven. What time is it? It is... Uh, oh, okay. That's kind of creepy. It's like knowing my time on my computer. Uh, so it's July 14th, 2017, at 11.30 and 36 seconds. Wow, you really are the pure boy of wonders. Thank you! <laughs> because I can tell time. I am the pure boy of wonders. I know that. Alright, I think we're good done with this maze area, but I want to, like, go up to that guy. I want to see how I can, like interact. Oh, wait, we can jump. Maybe we can, like, climb up things. Let's go in here first. Let's see, uh, this next person. Ooh, we got someone wearing a different type of attire, not like a weird Roman toga thing. He's wearing a suit, it looks like. Okay. Where am I? What is this? I'll be deciding if you go get into heaven. I'll be deciding if you go to hell. Ooh, this is a very, uh, distinct but very simple, um, way we can put this answer. I feel like if we say, if we say I'll be deciding if you go to hell, he might be, um, more honest or no he'll probably like paint a better picture of himself if i say i'll be deciding if you get into heaven i feel like he'll just try to be like honest if i say hell he'll probably try to like you know make some lies but so, l l let's, let's see what he does if i say i'll be deciding if you go to hell who are you i am the uh i guess i'm the pure boy of wonders what that is all i know <laughs> i just got here what is your sin I was ruthless in my corporate climb. I started, I st started, I stabbed backs all the way up the ladder, and once I was at the top, I ruled with an iron fist. My employees were disposable. I used them up and washed them out. I exploited bad working conditions in less developed nations. Okay. I was very profitable. <laughs> I like, after all that, he's like, yeah, I made a lot of money, so it's okay. Why did you treat your subordinates so poorly? I felt that if I didn't, someone, somebody else would. Nobody likes to treat people poorly, but somebody has to. If I wasn't ruthless, I would have been replaced for some somebody who is. A replacement who is only ruthless because of people like you, right? Possibly, but I can't bear the weight of corporate brutality. I can't undo it with just my will. But the exception... No, but the expectation is only as strong as the people complicit in its dominance. Uh, yeah. Either I play along or the system crushes me. The same way the system crushes everyone else. And wouldn't everyone else choose the same in my position anyways? Maybe, but they can't. They don't get that opportunity. Hmm. I know, I know I'm complicit, I, but I want to succeed. I enjoy the luxury. I like to build up my family and those close to me. I don't think that makes me evil. It's time for your judgment. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna condemn this guy because he's like talking to people and he's, you know, climbing the corporate ladder. He said he stabbed people in the back on the way up, so it wasn't like he got there like legit. And once he's at the top, he's micromanaging with an iron fist utilizing people in third world countries and he's like oh like if i don't do it someone else has to that's like kind of just being like really stupid and i'm gonna condemn you for that sir you are going to hell oh my god this game is so weird i don't even know why i'm playing it i don't even know why i'm recording it but here we go all right that was our third judgment i believe all right let's jump up and like see this assassin's creed ninja guy i want to see what's what's up with him can we get up there we might be able to if we jump on here so we have to like at, like, unleash our inner, like, ninja. Alright, let's go... Forward! Oh! 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 Oh, yes, here we go! Don't get lost, kid, if you know what's good for you. Okay, this is, like, the exactly, like, exactly this, the Assassin's Creed guy. What's his name? Connor? Right? Okay, so he jumped up here, and he just kind of wants his own quiet time, and that's okay. And we're gonna leave him be. Alright, we, we cleared out this weird maze area, now we're moving on to this area. I believe this is the last area before something happens. Um, we talk to this person. Let's talk to this guy. If you try hard enough, you can do anything. I mean, as long as you have plenty of time and resources available to you, or you're willing to sacrifice your quality of life and mental health, well, even then, you still can't do anything. But, you know. <laughs> it's it's just it's just hypothetical. Don't, don't get okay, stuck in that tree there. We talk to these people. Okay, we talk to that person. What is this over here? We have like a... Oh, we have another whole thing. We have someone dressed up in a weird... I don't even know what that is. Fallen angels are angels too! <laughs> Winky face. Uh, and I have to act surprised. Okay. I believe this is our last judgment, maybe? I have. I don't... I didn't see any other around the map, but let's get in here. And let's see what this is. Oh, snap. Who will be... Who will we be dealing with now? Uh... What the hell? 
It's like Harambe. It's like a gorilla suit holding a cage with a little boy in it. Okay, let's go. Let me into heaven, or I will kill this man. <laughs> so it's the it's the guy in the gorilla suit talking about the man. Kill in purgatory? Is that even possible? So he's trying to bribe me here. Do you want to find out? Why don't you just calm down? Nobody needs to get hurt here. Then listen to me in heaven. The no. Li I can't read. Then let me into heaven. It's as simple as that. Listen, heaven is kind of more of a human scene. I don't think animals are supposed to be let down. Okay, so this is... So we're playing along, but this guy is actually like, actually like a gorilla. So this guy's legit Harambe. Um, silence. Isn't there some kind of animal place you can go to? How the hell would I know? Oh, how the hell would I know? That might indicate where I put you, sir. I was dropped here out of nowhere. I just don't want to die. Please save me. I'm not ready to, to let go. It's time for your judgment. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. Is this monkey worthy? Okay, so it's a monkey, even though that does not look like a monkey. Um, he wants to kill this guy. He tried to bribe me. That's not very nice. Um, and, um, I don't know. I, I'm surprised this, this man didn't have anything to say for himself. Um, and then he's like, oh, I can't go to animal heaven because there isn't even a place, so send me to heaven or I'll kill this guy. I'm going to condemn you. That is bribery. You're trying to bribe the boy of wonders or whatever I'm called. So, you know, you, you, bet, you, better, you better watch it, bud. Okay, was that it? I feel like that was it. Do we have any more? I think we're done. Why can't I walk through this bush? Is there any other one? So I think I've, I think there were four, right? And I condemned three and accepted one. Yeah, okay, so these people are just saying the same stuff. So I condemned three, and I redeemed one. Do I go back to this guy now? Because I think I finished. All right, let's check it out. You have cared for this land well. I only needed to follow the will of God. Now lie, rest well, and back in the holiness of the Lord. Lie, rest, and bask in the holiness of the Lord. Oh, okay, is that it? We're, like, getting out of here? So apparently I did well. I did uh, my fair share of uh, judgment. All right, I guess I'm jumping in. I want to see what this guy has to say again, though. Does he say the same thing? Yeah, you've cared, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna lie, rest well, and bask in the holiness of the Lord. Can I get in? Why can't I? No, oh, I have to be on the outside. Okay, that's weird. Alright, that was it! Was that it? Was that actually it? No way. Wow! Uh, okay, that's very interesting. Um, so, is that kind of like, they kind of pull an undertale on you there. Um, but yeah, that's really interesting. That was Welcome to Heaven. It took me... Well, I, like, started the game and tested some audio before, so that took me, like, 20-something minutes, maybe. And that's the game. You just kind of, like, walk up these staircases, you fall off the staircase, you fall off the stairway to heaven, you go to heaven, and then the guy there is, like, you need to, like, judge people. You walk around, you talk to people who are super pixelated and weird, and you go into, like, four black holes on, like, four purgatory places... And then you judge people, and you listen to their sins, and some of them were very odd, like the, the monkey with the, the man in the cage. And you walk around, and uh, you listen to people's perspectives. There were children, there were weird pun rhyming guys, uh, there was the Assassin's Creed, I don't even know. But that was Welcome to Heaven. I hope you enjoyed your time in heaven, guys. I will see you in the next video. I don't know why I played this, this was so weird. <laughs> oh my god, more quality videos coming out soon. Yeah, I, that that's all I can say. Um, goodbye. <laughs> what the heck was that game?